Hi everyone, welcome to Tro Surf. Start the montage. <laughs> Let's go explore it. Wow, 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 absolutely wow. You've got the <laughs> toilets with like the best view in the world. <laughs> These are the toilets behind me. 10 rupees to get in, it is gated off, and you've got to bring exact change. There is no change given, so pay exact change, but. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. There's Peter Both. Got our montage. I don't know. Oh, and there's Lake Bagatal. Walking for the montage with the view behind us. You know, it's actually really, really cold up here. <laughs> I know it's eight o'clock in the morning, but it's cold. A lot of people actually walk around uh, the caldera. Is it called a caldera? Walk around the caldera. And uh, there's some exercise places where you can do, well, the guy was doing pull-ups earlier, but uh, you can do sit-ups and pull-ups and things. Shadows. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice path. This here around me. Well, the tombs of the Malagasy slaves, they were actually buried up here on the, on the, on the volcano. And they have been concreted over, but this is the original spot. This is where they actually were. And I'm just going to show you inside this one. There we go. So, there's, people are still burning candles to them. With my shadow on. Oh. Early morning lighting isn't the best for shining towards the sun. But it works great on me. Onwards to the viewpoint. <laughs> the lighting is beautiful for this magnificent tree. Don't know who owns that house, but wow, their views must be spectacular. Wow. Pretty cool in here, just off the beaten path, but it looks like someone has a house there. Ah, back onto the main path. It is actually surprisingly steep. Wow. Of course, hidden behind the tree. <laughs> if you could ever hide a Doppler radar station that's 40 meters tall. And over the edge, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Oh, whoa. Wow. Wow. Steep, but we'll get a better. We'll, we'll go do our, our intro from, from a place where you can see it below. The official viewpoint. This path that we're actually walking on now was initiated in 1938 by the local residents who pretty much at the time got anything they wanted. If they wanted a town hall, they got a town hall. In fact, well, we'll show you some of that stuff later, but the people of Cure Peep normally got what they wanted. That is a seriously imposing structure there. There's actually parking here. Uh, so you can come up to this side. But this is where the kiosk is and the lookout point. Let's go see it. Yeah, there's about three entrances to Tosef. And entry is free. The viewpoint was better. <laughs> wow. There's a bit in shade at the moment. Yeah, yes, I can't see the bottom. Is it one of these circles that I stand on? I don't know how many of you have actually heard about geocaching. It's where you hide something all over the world, including what are called earth caches where it's more of an event. You come to a place and you get information about it. Like here, 
this is an extinct volcano so someone has hidden somewhere here I'm not going to mark any points or anything but a geocache so what you do is you go online you sign up and then you you come to the point like like here it's like treasure hunting and you get to go to places that you normally wouldn't go and over 300 people from all around the world have actually logged this geocache so what you do is you come here you got to answer some questions so some of them are quite tricky about volcanoes but once you get here you just fill out the 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 geo information you log it and then you get information about it and you enjoy the view and enjoy the view but there are other types and that's where you actually find something so someone has hidden something in the ground like maybe a penny from their country or a little box with some writing in it and a log book and you get to go and log those as well and there's one somewhere here as well we'll go and try and find that one as well mm -hmm. but geocaching it, it, it actually is kind of kind of makes you want to go out and do something Study of concentration as Ricky logs <laughs> geocache. Sorry, sweetie, I didn't mean to film you. <laughs> Getting logged in. <laughs> this massive 40 meter structure behind me is actually a Doppler radar. Doppler radar. It, it, it's actually one of the only ones here actually doing work, I think, in this entire region. Yeah. Wow, it is massive. And it can actually see wind speeds up to 250 kilometers away. Yeah. So if there's a bit of a breeze 250 kilometers away, that's almost, I mean, Reunion's only 90. It can probably actually see all the way to Madagascar. <laughs> and 450 kilometers away, it can see clouds. It can actually probably see clouds on, on Madagascar and almost all the way to Australia. Okay, no, Australia is quite, quite <laughs> far, but... You know, Antarctica. <laughs> Antarctica. It's only four thousand kilometers away. I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, website because it's very useful if you want to see if it's going to be rainy, and very useful for cyclone tracking, very which is why it was put here. Tracking. People are really active, nice and early, jogging around this path. We will walk the whole thing, but I do feel like we've been lapped quite a few times. <laughs> Looks like a mini caldera next to me. Just a little in bit, but the main one's on that side. The reason there's a locked gate here is because the caldera literally from this point just drops off into the abyss. Okay, you can't see it so much with the plants, but it really is steep down there. Wow, it's even bigger in person. It is really impressive. You see that wispy little cloud going past? Oh yeah, it sees that. It sees it going on by. Uh-huh. He's got the eyes on you. Well, oh, <laughs> yeah, got he disappeared. <laughs> These are all the geocaches and marshes. They're actually quite a lot. So, get into the area we're in, which is Cure Peep. You can see we were just at the, the earth cache which we have noted, and we're heading for this one. Wow. Which should be a traditional one, because it's shaped like a box. And we are so lucky with the weather today, because as everyone knows, it notoriously rains in Cure Peep. I'm sure at some point we will get drenched, but not right now. Walking away from the huge blue building for the montage. <laughs> uh, for all the Japanese out there, you guys helped build that. Thanks, guys. I mean, there isn't a specific sign to say not to, but uh, I would recommend no. <laughs> oh, it looks like a path. <laughs> well, I wonder how they do that at the house on the slopes got down and up every day. <laughs> Tunnel into a volcano. This is a great place to put a reservoir. It's pretty much the highest point here. Uh oh, people are coming. Now, one of the things about geocaching, and yes, I walked right past it, it's somewhere here is that you're not supposed to let other people see you find the cache because non-geocachers, like you guys if you aren't, are called muggles. <laughs> and you want the muggles to see you getting the cache. So we're going to sneak around. I'm not going to show you exactly where it is. I'll show you when we've got it. But it's here. This is it. The reservoir, when you get here, it is hidden here somewhere. So I've got the reservoir. Ricky is going to quickly read the 
description and we'll <laughs> yeah. try and spot it from it's here. It's really funny, this is really nicely written because like try to find the micro cache inside the volcano before it erupts and you get blown out of the crater. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the volcano down there. Yeah, they used to have it actually inside the crater but now I don't think you're allowed in. So update from 2016 is due to imminent volcanic eruption, authorities have restricted aspects to the crater itself. The cache is now in the perimeter of the safety zone. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the phone. Yeah. Just a whole bunch of writing. <laughs> so it's somewhere here. Yeah, over 500 people have found it. So it's got to be here. Let's go in and find out. And as luck would have it, she's open. <laughs> it didn't open. There, it opens the other way. We have been searching and searching and so far we've only managed to find an empty plastic bag. So <laughs> I don't know if someone's moved it or I mean I can't imagine that you'd have to go through a gate to go and find it. That seems a bit trespassy. But we'll give it another go. Peering into little holes trying to find a geocache. I've decided I'm not actually quite good at this because you need to be able to put your fingers in a little hole. And that's where spiders live. <laughs> well, it looks like this one has defeated us, unfortunately. But there will be more and we will bring you more as soon as we find some. These beautiful wax flowers. Oh, and they smell so sweet. Trosurf literally means deer hole. <laughs> Loads of gates around so people can get in and it, it's actually called deer hole because the deer used to come and drink the water at the bottom of it so they would come and I suppose sit up here and shoot them <laughs> I don't know but the deer used to come here so that's why they called it deer hole Wow such a drop off into the abyss Man it's a pity it's a pity You can't even see how steep that is without uh, being here you have to come <laughs> Oh, big hole. Big hole. <laughs> I will take note that there might be holes and follow the path. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Great views. So yeah, Trosurf is an extinct volcano. It erupted like six or seven hundred thousand years ago. And it's not what, what, not the most recent in Mauritius, because the most recent was like 20,000 years ago. But it is considered extinct, although it forms due to hotspot activity. So I'm not sure if the hotspot from Reunion moves, could be in full volcanic activity again. Hopefully not. <laughs> most likely not. <laughs> Standing here after all. Uh, <laughs> It appears this is probably the best view we're going to get of it down there. Uh, there was that other spot which might have been better I think but from here you can just make it out and you can see there is some water down there. When you see pictures of it it looks quite shallow but it's really it's really really steep and ridiculously so it's like cliffs literally all the way around. There used to be a house down there and I think that's probably the view you want to actually look at when you come here. Looking into the crater is okay, but this is the view. Wow. That's what you want to look at. So, let me let you know, he was a botanist who lived down there in the bottom of that hole. Uh, I can't imagine how he came up and down. Uh, I assume it wasn't every day. He was studying different types of sugarcane, which he did introduce some new species successfully. Okay, so reduced, reduced, <laughs> introduced some new species. And, and, this is the coolest thing. They used to grow wine. He had a vineyard. Can you imagine crater wine or, or trosurf, trosurf wine. We should bring back trosurf wine. Definitely, definitely bring back trosurf wine. Agreed. Wow, that would be so awesome. Oh man, that's Eben. I did a video on that. Okay, but it looked a lot smaller. I mean, a lot bigger when I was there. All right, there's Ricky. Or maybe this is going to be the thumbnail. Let's see if we can't get some of that, that beautiful view with the sun on us. Where's the sun? It's not quite right, but wow. 
smile. <laughs> Look, that must be from there. Oh, you mean like, get it out there. Great idea having a book nest. I mean, they are pretty cool. Take a book, leave a book. Just not here. Ish. Ish. Not good. <laughs> Quite a bit of parking at Torsef and there's other parking on the other side and toilets for 10 rupees but they're good great day out get a bit of exercise fresh air and enjoy the views go for a walk or run around it yeah as many times as you like once <laughs> once is good, <laughs> once is good. Okay, we have stopped off at this small bakery uh, just on the road to get some treats we've got our treats we're going to head out in a minute but i thought i'd just show you some of the things they've got here Cakes, loads of things, and apparently the best bread in the whole of Cure Peep. The whole of Cure Peep, the best bread. <laughs> he doesn't know, so so don't take his word. Come and try it for yourself. Thank you. Oh yes, look at this. It's a boat. There is actually a boat building shop in Kirkheap, a very famous one, but I think it's closed at the moment. Okay. But we can see a boat anyway. There's a beautiful boat. You can see it from outside. Let's just go outside and we'll show you our treats in a minute. But you see the boat here and this is the place you're looking for. Home of the perfect bread. The perfect bread, not the best. Perfect. The perfect bread. The perfect bread. And here it is. Just down from Trousseur. Okay, we're going to check another shop. Oh, into the light. This is actually Blue Paneer, a natural fruit shop, fruit and vegetable shop. We'll go in and have a look in a second, but this is what it looks like from the outside. Oh, traffic, easy to spot, right opposite the perfect bread. Okay, okay, no, no, it's not that one. Uh, so here they sell the vegetables like this. Look at the selection of bread. Yum. What a fantastic idea. Obviously we're in the shop so my mask is up. Wow. And look. Bread. This is the biggest selection of leafy things I've ever seen. <laughs> Even on that motorbike they didn't have that many. And look, it's all... No packaging. Absolutely no packaging. It's brilliant. More shops should be like this. Absolutely. Fresh and natural and it looks great. I 100% agree with Ricky. And you've got all the, the names and the prices easily available to you. I love it. Just in case you missed it, you can get pumpkin by the piece. That is a patat. Patat chinoise. Hmm? It says slices, and then you put um, anana, and then cucumber. For those who don't know, that's an actual custard apple. Wow. Yes, yes, dragon fruit. Yes. yes. All sorts of exotic things here. It is such a place worth coming to. Thank you, nice to meet you. It's brilliant. More shop like this. Wow, wow. Oh ha. What a fantastic shop. What a great shop. And less plastics makes for a better place. And now have a look at the bread place. There's queues out the door. It really is perfect bread, isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately, botanical gardens are still closed. You can't come to a botanical garden during Corona times. We accidentally drove in because they're doing maintenance. So we get to have a sneak peek. <laughs> Another place closed. Unfortunately, also closed due to coronavirus. But they've got a golf course and a rugby field and lots of other things. So if you're here at Trill Surf, you can come stop at this fabulous restaurant. 
they do really nice foods we're gonna we'll check out but i think they're only open for takeaway at the moment you have a look but it's right up as it does i'll give you some more info on this house in a minute but it is a de chazelle house remember edward this is probably his dad edward it wasn't edward <laughs> me and Lindsay. Edmund. <laughs> Edmund. It was Edmund. Me and Lord. Lord Lindsay. Lindsay. Me and Lord Lindsay. Can never get his name right. But Edmund. Probably his dad. Yeah. Let's go have a look at it. So from the bakery we got one of these little sweet treats and I'm eating it with the... I thought you said it was chicken. It's with chicken, yeah. Oh, it's with chicken. Hope so. Little chicken pie. Let's see. Ooh, nice little chicken pie. <laughs> These are a great little treat. Inside it actually is really chickeny. It's like a chicken mince, very nicely flavored. But look at the size. You can just take it and walk and eat and walk and eat. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect snack walk food. Yep. Great for tourists. How nice is this weather in Kyrpeep? Some people say it always rains here. <laughs> They've got some shops down there, and they've been made in the old style, but I think they're actually based on this, which looks original. I don't know if you can make out the top. Let me just put it there. A bit bright in the sun, but you can just make out that that's original wooden. And if we come down here, you can see that the original stonework is still here as well. So I think the beauty zone is actually in the original one, and the others have been made to look like it. Just up ahead is the De Chazelle house and they're having a clearance sale so let's go in and buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many lords and ladies walked up this, this staircase to go visit the great benefactor. Wow. Huh? It would have been pretty cool had the carriages coming in, coming in through this way. Coming up the stairs, seeing the tiles, and walking through this entranceway. Whoa. Wow. <sighs> Original gas lantern. <laughs> wow, what a veranda this must have been. It's now a Persian carpet place. They sell Persian carpets. But they've got this weaver loom. I don't know what they're called. It's pretty cool in here, pretty cool in here. Let's see if there's any more to it. Big old doors like the other place. Floor tiles. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. Look at that tree. Bring the carriage round, James. Probably wasn't drained, it was a Francois. Bring the carriage round, Francois. We are going to town. Oh, my cable. <laughs> yes, please. We allowed a little visit inside. Awesome. Can we film a little bit? Yeah. Look at the beautiful floors. And these guys are actually maintaining the house, keeping it in yeah, good order. Good order. Because we're selling goods, then we maintain the house at the same time. Perfect. That Otherwise, is the exact way. Oh, it'll, it'll end up destroyed by the trees. Exactly. Like so many other places. Exactly. But look at it being maintained. This and is pure oh. teak wood. It was brought uh, from Madagascar. Wow, teak wood take, from take wood, yeah, Madagascar. It was, you know, like sheep, uh -huh. all whole sheep, it was transported. Actually brought in by Shin. And it's some amazing. Of the, uh, these uh, boats also were made of teak. Yes. And then they broke down, so the wood was used. And they the reused the boat. Yeah. We wow. saw the same thing at St. Auburn. Yeah, <laughs> made it from a boat. Yeah. You're Incredible. Can you get also some publicity? Yes. Sure. <laughs> so look at this. Because of the sale they've got at the moment, thanks to COVID, you can get this, not this exact one because it's already sold. It's massive and all handmade. And at the moment, only 15,000 rupees. Look how beautiful it is with the sofa. I, I love it. And this has gems in it. 
This is definitely a wall hanging. I wouldn't put this on the floor. Uh, look at the elephant. huh? And he's right next to a loom. I think they're called looms. But if you're coming, if you're coming to visit the De Chazelle house with the beautiful teak floors and the huge doors, massive, massive doors, they do sell carpets and watches and jewelry. We'll get through here and I'll spin you around yeah. for a second. Have a look at this. What a great setting for jewelry and carpets in this beautiful old house that they that they're keeping preserved. And they said if you can crack the safe, <laughs> it's seventy percent off everything. Come try crack the safe. I'll give you seventy percent anyway, just for coming to make the effort. And there's even more through the in the back in the back of the. Oh wow! This oh, uh, and their toilets as well. <laughs> Have a look where they are. Down there, <laughs> there's a basement. Because he did say there's going to be huge, huge rooms downstairs, but they're not open yet. But we'll see what we can see. This is where the bathrooms are. And okay, it is a little bit dark, but this will be downstairs. Yeah. So they are going to have a big downstairs area. It's like literally the whole size of the house downstairs as well. So that's pretty cool and just loads and loads of beautiful things in a beautiful old house. Tell you what, I didn't notice it before. There's no air conditioning on, but it's a lot cooler in the back of the house. Knock on the walls, they wouldn't. Ah, how cool. <laughs> Man, wooden walls. I, the stonework is underneath us, so the basement is made of the stonework, but the whole house is made of wood. And these guys are actually protecting it. Oh, these are clothes. So they also have clothes here. Handbags. Wow. Wow. So they also have clothes here. And handbags. I wonder how the bedrooms would have worked, where everyone would have slept. And more things in here. Yes, this is a stately home indeed. A stately home indeed. Oh. Really incredible. Thank you so much. This is one of the windows with a, a tiny little balcony. Oh. This is quite a, quite a unique design feature to actually have the three archways with the, the flowers on top. Well, it's original detail from the original house. So this is the company. Yeah. And if you come down to Cure Peep, just down from Trosurf, contact them. They're super friendly, really nice. And it's a great shopping experience. Don't know about you guys, but I've stopped wearing ties because I couldn't find any. But here they are. Look at that. I think you stopped wearing ties because they don't really match a t-shirt. But <laughs> I don't wear ties anymore because they don't match my t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just discovered those gorgeous cushion covers. And they're actually a thousand rupees only. That is really, really not bad. This is Lucky. Hi. This is his place. All these beautiful carpets. He is trying to sell them, so come and buy them. And we were lucky that we met him because he got to show us this house. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Lucky. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. your day. <laughs> Walking away from the house for the montage. <laughs> and Ricky was right. She did say it. Shingles. Yeah. They're actually shingles, shingles on the outside. So it's not just wood. It's not just wooden. It's actually shingled. Yes, it's been painted to protect the shingles. What makes it unusual? It really does. It really is. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get into the botanical gardens, ah, uh, but a little piece of it came to us. Oh man, eh? This walking under over 100 year old mask tree <laughs> it's gorgeous and there's an Eiffel Tower <laughs> I don't know if you can make it out in the distance way over there we're actually in France now there's the Eiffel Tower <laughs> no it's actually really close that's like it's not far it's... <laughs> otherwise I would think with that building be <laughs> there's the Eiffel Tower it's quite amazing. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It is huge. 
I ain't surprisingly big. Ricky's gonna get some video of me getting closer. Uh huh. I can't even touch the bottom bit. It's really big. <laughs> it's cool. And this is just behind the restaurant. Wow, true surf. A little the re true, true surf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, I'm doing my outro, everyone. Um, I thought I, I thought I said true surf wrong. Anyway, so this is the outro. So, true surf, the return of the de Chazelles, and of course some great pastries and the Eiffel Tower. Paris, welcome back. Anyway, from Kia Peep, see you later.